okay we want to have something of interest when uh, looking at the website so we've got the latest news now the latest news will take maybe the last seven days worth of news or a different number of days depending on, on how many you ask it to take among the functions we're gonna have to look at is something called days ago which we have to figure out what day it is if we're saying the number of days ago uh, the count news is how many of the entries meet the criteria and the list news is actually that list of, of news items so we're going to begin in the main function and um, we got if there's a task called favorite pets then we're going to display that else we're going to do what well let's, first of all let's go to that days um, variable if there is a days variable we're going to set number of days equal to that otherwise we have number of days equal to seven so it's going to begin if there isn't a specification of days it'll be seven now if the current directory is equal to public underscore HTML that's our, our main directory we want to do something so this is the displaying of the news is only going to happen when you're in the home page not if you're in that office folder now what we have here is if count news of the, uh, the with the number of days as the parameter if that's greater than zero we're going to do something if it's not we're, we're going to do nothing okay so or we're going to do something we'll see count news start equals days ago num days how are we going to get that better take a look at days ago so the day ago with num days as a parameter it um, we've got a little bit of logic here first of all it needs to return in a yyyy mmdd format and the logic is this if the current date is greater than the number of days then just subtract the number of days else go to the 25th of the previous month um, and if necessary you're gonna go to December 25th of the pre previous year so what that means is if it, the number of days is seven and it's the tenth of the month it's just going to go back seven days to the third of the month however if the day is the fifth of the month and you go back seven days instead of worrying about whether or not the previous month has 30 or 31 days in it i'm just going to say hey just go back to the 25th of the previous month so the first thing we're going to do is get the um, month and year and day but the day and the month are without leading zeros we need that so we can add or subtract as the case may be I guess it would be subtract so if D the date is greater than the number of days then we're just going to subtract that so D is 10 and number of days is 7 so it would just subtract that and get, go to the third of the month else the D is the 25 but the month is one less than the month however if the month is zero what do we know it was December so we have to say the month is 12 and the year is one less than the current year now if the day is less than 10 we do want to add that zero and same thing with month because we need to return an eight character four for year two for month and two for day so it's going to return that with the dashes in there now that we've got that done let's go back to count news select count as num from news links where pub date is greater than or equal to question mark that's the start order by pub date descending okay so prepares the sql bind start to that uh, one question mark executes stores the result bind result num why because we did a select count as num and then we fetch that so what we're finding out return num dollar sign num is we're finding out the number of news items because there could be zero as long as there's more than than zero we're going to take a look at that so if count news is greater than zero then it says list news count comma num days 
let's take a look at that. It's fairly similar. Start with the days ago and the select. In this case, it's not just going to uh, select the count, but it's going to select ID, display text, URL, pub date from news links where pub date greater than or equal to question mark ordered by pub date descending. So we prepare the SQL, we bind start to that question mark, we execute, we store the result, bind the result of ID, display text, URL, and pub date, and then we're going to create ourselves a table because we want to view these in a table. So column span equals two, the latest news. So that's just a table header. And then while statement fetch, let's take a look at what we're going to do. We're going to get the display text, which we strip slashes out of that if there are any. And we create a TR, which is a TD, and then a second TD, and then a slash TR. The first TD has the pub date, and the second TD has a hyperlink. It's going to go to a file called newurl.php, id equals the id, and the url equals the dollar sign url. Target's new, but the display text is what you're going to see. Why am I going to newurl.php? Well, I'm going to have to explain that. Else, we're going to put in the uh, lorem ipsum quote. And that's what it's going to look like right here. Uh, we'll talk about the new URL next time, but for now, this is what we've got.